Welcome back to Cubbyhole Conversations and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas morning. It is not quite yet six o'clock. And um, of course, the rest of our family is still asleep because that's how it goes around here. Um, I think I'm supposed to make sure they're up by eight because we have to be at grandma and grandpa's like at 930, I think. I don't know. I can't really remember at this point, but I'm pretty sure that's the plan. So we'll see if they sleep till late or not. Um, uh, it's Christmas morning, so it's a good day. Today, the first thing we'll do once everybody's awake is put baby Jesus in the nativity. A few years back, excuse my curtain there, it was right in my face. A few years back, um, uh, quite a few years back, I had seen someone who was doing that and I thought that makes a lot more sense. So now the wise men are not in the nativity. They're like on their way to the nativity and um, baby Jesus is not in the stable. But I guess the one thing that doesn't make sense with that is that Mary and Joseph are at the stable for like, you know, half a month or a month or something. For us, it was only a couple of weeks because no, it wasn't even a couple of weeks. It was like a week and a half because we were really slow on getting our nativity set up this year. This nativity is super old. Like, um, my parents got it before I was born and I'm 47, so. We're holding on to this thing and hoping that it doesn't die on us and, and uh, trying to keep it together. Um, but it's one of the few things that I'm like, I really want this set up. So um, Christmas tree, Christmas train, which is as old as my, as old as me also. Um, and the nativity, which is older than me. So those are kind of my three things that I really like to have set up at Christmas. And other than that, I, whatever happens, happens. Maybe you guys have some traditions like that too that are um, kind of your must-haves, like the things that are most important to you. Man, if we ever did go full-time RVing, that'd be a that'd be a hard one, right? Like, as I I don't think I could set up the, those things. They take up way too much space. But um, it was it. Those are the things that I I enjoy. So, and then uh, we were talking. La I think it was last night. We were talking about what what is our favorite thing about Christmas, and and Jason said going up in the mountains and getting our tree. He said, even though it's super stressful because we like always get stuck or Chris always gets stuck or, you know, you just have that like uh, thought of we're out of cell range. We only have maps and um, there's not a lot of people out there. There's only one year, though, that I remember not having someone else be up there. There was there was like obviously we only ever go with Chris and Jeannie. So. Um, that's a safety mechanism there in itself, but we have only had one year that I remember where we didn't see anyone else on the, on the forest service road, the entire trip. Um, every other year we've run into people here or there, you know, not a lot, maybe one person, but at least someone else was out there. So that's comforting. But, um, so, and I said funny thing, cause that was my, like, that's my favorite thing as well. That's like my favorite thing that we do as a family and then we have our standard Christmas day things that we do and um, those are always it's kind of we've got a nice system going with our family and Jason's parents and my parents and our you know all of our brothers and sisters and all that so we've got a nice schedule there and it's it's good I like it um, it's a little crazy which is why I'm recording this now because I am probably going to be exhausted tonight when we get home and probably not going to want to do this tomorrow, the day after Christmas. So uh, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. I'm hoping to maybe get this even posted before the guys wake up. We'll see. Technology is not my friend. Um, I have been having a lot of problems uploading lately. So we'll see how it goes. I don't really have a great message for you today. I'm just wanting to wish you a Merry Christmas and hope that you have a wonderful day whatever you're doing family friends staying home um, we have some people we know who have covid so they're staying home um, i don't know i i just i think wherever you're at whatever you're doing try to find hope and joy in this day and if you don't know jesus this is the day we celebrate celebrate his birth like obviously this is not the day he was born um the friend of mine sent me something and she said that her son asked her, how old is Jesus? Because today's his birthday. And I thought that was so adorable because it's like just out of the mouth of babes, right? Um, but Jesus is eternal. And so, you know, we can't count how old he is really. But as far as 
the human version of God. I suppose we could do the math there. Uh, 2022. Um, so anyway, I don't know. 20, I guess it's not 2022 yet. It's 2021. But I guess I just want to wish you a, a Merry Christmas. And if you don't know Jesus, I want you to uh, take a moment to um, consider who you could reach out to. And that could be me. And I'm willing to talk to you about it, obviously. Um, but I'd love for you to meet Jesus if you don't know him yet. So Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.